This is an All Sports Station production. Tonight, from Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada, it's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. see Derek Carr and the Las Vegas Raiders taking on Drew Brees and the New Orleans Saints. NFL football has come to Southern Nevada as we are in the menacing new Allegiant Stadium here in Las Vegas. The atmosphere here electric. No matter the venue, the home folks love their silver and black. They are fired up as their Raiders get set to face off with Drew Brees and the New Orleans Saints. The final week into the summer. Hope you're enjoying it wherever you are as we are off and running on EA Sports. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback. Now whistles, and we've got a man down. A man down here following the kickoff. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. First and ten, here's Breeze. An incomplete crisis averted. Almost picked. Instead, second down. Pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. From the gun, it's Breeze. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. So now an early third and 10 here on their opening drive. Shotgun now for Breeze. Got him in. He finds Sanders. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. Yeah, yeah, Excellent play there nice. on third down. Give him 25 yards. Good catch there by Emmanuel Sanders. And he's exactly who you want in your locker room and who you want on your team. He can integrate into an offense quickly. He joined the San Francisco 49ers at midseason last year and had a huge impact in their run to the Super Bowl. He's a veteran receiver that everyone respects. And yes, he can still play. Ready. 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 From midfield, here's Breeze. And down he goes, brought down a Raiders sack. Corey Littleton gets him for a loss of 10 yards from his linebacker spot. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. Hey. 
So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. And Sanders has got it complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. Now Breeze on third down. That's taken in by Callaway. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. That gain of nine buys them a new set of downs. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Breeze now to throw. And this is Cook with the ground. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. down. Breeze drops this off to Kamara out of the backfield. Not much there. Only a yard. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Here's second and nine. Breeze to throw again. His throw incomplete. Traquan Smith, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Play number nine now on this pretty long opening drive, but this is third down. Now, Breeze again. On the check down, he finds Kamara. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. And there's a catch and a first down by Alvin Kamara, and he can shake you in the open field. He can also drop his shoulder and run through, and you want to talk about a consistent player. How about his receiving numbers per season for each of his first three years? 81 catches, 81 catches, and 81 catches. Alvin Kamara? So dependable. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. They'll run it for the first time with Alvin Kamara. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Nine-yard line, second and six. Now Breeze. This will be caught at about the six. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Two veterans, Breeze to Sanders there for a Saints first down. Well, I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this is started. Absolutely. Three catches on any drive is good. Opening drive, that's a tone setter. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Looking at this now, you got a couple more cracks here this close. Sneak it. I don't think you even go into a huddle. Just line up, snap it, and fall in behind those guys into the end zone. Hey. 
And just one man in the backfield here. That's Kamara, second and goal. He'll get it up the middle. And he takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Saints take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. They're the favorite, no question. And when they score like that on the opening drive to set the tone, you're the underdog on the other bench. That's hard, isn't it? Yeah, because you can't bring the home crowd into it because you're counting on that to be a part of your equalizer, ride their momentum. But you have to give them something to cheer for. So now what you're worried about is they're better than we are. We can't get going. Are we about to get blown out? Good news, still a long way to go. Will Lutz on for the point after. And it's good as the Saints have a 7-0 lead. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And the capper came from Alvin Kamara on the touchdown run. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Taken about seven yards deep. And no return forthcoming for Richard as this will come out to the 25. The Raiders set to go to work behind their veteran quarterback, and that's Derek Carr. Sometimes I wonder if we're just not looking at Derek Carr and evaluating him the correct way because this guy's been incredibly reliable. Only two missed starts in six seasons with the Raiders. His completion percentage top 70% last year. The only one higher, Drew Brees in New Orleans. The problem, though, it hasn't translated into wins. They move the ball up and down the field, but they don't score enough touchdowns. Derek Carr hoping to remedy that in 2020. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Cameron Jordan so tough to block as he gets in there to record the sack. That's called setting the tone right away. It certainly is, and it lets you know just how important communication is amongst the offensive line. They talk about it all the time, knowing each other's moves. You've got to be coordinated and in sync. Otherwise, your quarterback gets hit. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Shotgun now for Carr. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Darren Waller, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, it's Carr. The Eiffel's one, it's intercepted. Reception sets them up beautifully already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turn to block, find a spot, and now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. Possession of the football going back over to New Orleans now, and the Saints open the 2020 season hosting Tampa Bay for Tom Brady's welcoming reception into the NFC South, and they welcomed him rather rudely. And then they, they were kind of like the Saints, a high-performance engine because they needed a little bit to warm up. But after two touchdowns from their spark plug, Alvin Kamara, they really started to fire on all cylinders. And I think I just got enough cliches in there for a full football season, so I'll show myself out. Oh, you did well. Staccato, man. They just came one after the other. You were on a roll. I love that. But this New Orleans Saints team, 
They spent the entire offseason hearing about Tampa Bay, Tom Brady, all the additions, Gronk coming to town. And as their star defensive end, Cameron Jordan, said so eloquently, hey, we welcome Tom Brady and Gronk to the NFC South, and we welcome the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They'll just be playing for second place. I love that confidence that that New Orleans Saints team possesses. Extra bulk up front for second and inches. Three tight ends. Breeze leaves this one with Kamara. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Just a gain of a yard, but it's going to set him up with a first and goal. Take this from the nine down to about the seven. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Now Breeze had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. To throw is Breeze. That's complete right around the and this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. A gain of five, but not enough, leads to a fourth and goal. A short gain that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. Fourth down, off goes Drew Brees, and on comes the Saints kicker, Will Lutz, for the field goal attempt. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. And Lutz's kick is good. And that will make it 10-0 here in the first. So it's an old-school extra point that counts three times. So it's certainly a disappointment they weren't able to get it in the end zone. Yeah, I can just imagine post-game. Head coach looking at the box score, 19-yard field goal, grimacing a little bit, but having to realize that at that moment, getting three points was vital. Go ahead and get the points, put them on the board. Following the main field goal, Lutz to kick it away. This taken in about four yards deep, and no return forthcoming for Richard as this will come out to the 25. Raiders coming back out here for their next possession on offense. And, Charles, they got a week one victory at Carolina, 34-30. to Of course, their first win is the Las Vegas Raiders to open the 2020 season. Josh Jacobs, he was the star of the day. Three touchdown runs. And, and this was an offense, CD, remember, that last year struggled some, but there wasn't much struggling in week one. No, there was not. And I'm going to go ahead and commend you right off the top. You don't have to put any money in the fine jar. Las Vegas Raiders. You nailed it right at the beginning. So proud of you. And how about the way this team has been building over the last two seasons? Josh Jacobs, their number one pick of their first round pick last year. He had a big day, three touchdown runs. And you mentioned they struggled before, but now they're getting it together. 24th in scoring in offense last year. They scored on six of their first eight possessions. They talked about it all off season. We can move the ball. But let's find a way to get it in the end zone. And they did that at Carolina. And coming up Monday night, they get to open that new spaceship in the desert hosting New Orleans. And that'll be a battle of two 1-0 teams. That should be a lot of fun. Now, what a first down pickup of eight. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. 
Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. On second down now, it's Jacobs. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. because he's frustrated that they didn't get the ball snapped in time. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. Working from the gun, it's Carr. He's going to find and complete it to Renfro. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. <laughs> on the ground, this is Jalen Richard. Only a yard on the gain there, and that'll set up third and 13. Really good stop there by David Anyamata, a very productive player for the New Orleans Saints. And how about this for a value pick? Fourth rounder back in 2016. On third and long, it's Carr. Oh, they've gotten lucky. Trying to dump it off underneath on the check down. Nearly picked instead it's incomplete. That makes them now 0 for 2 here in the first quarter on third down conversions. And now they'll look to their defense because they need them to step up so they don't fall further behind here in the early going. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. The all-pro Deontay Harris deep for New Orleans. Able to push his way through. They'll score that a 36-yard punt. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Alvin Kamara and the Saints set to start their next drive. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. He'll look to throw right away. That's caught. The tight end Hill. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Coming up on a second and six. Breeze now. That one complete to Hill. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 12 yards there and a first down.
10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a handoff. Here's Kamara. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. Five yards remain on second down. Throwing now is Breeze. They complete it to Hill. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. A good pick up there, a 22. First and 10 now in Raider territory. Down at the 31. Back to the ground. It's Kamara. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. Eight yards to go on second down. From the gun, it's a run for Kamara. And he's going to be close to a first down as he gets this to the Raiders 21. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Alvin Kamara hit the NFL with a bang, had double-digit touchdowns in his first two seasons. Now, production fell off a little bit last year. Just six times did he find the end zone. But his ability to run it and catch it out of the backfield makes him hard to cover. Look for a bounce-back season in 2020. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and 10. Now Breeze. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. Well, the great coach said football is really a simple game. Rush theirs, protect yours. And he's talking about those guys throwing the football. In this situation, the rush won, hitting the quarterback and forcing him into an incompletion. Second and 10. <laughs> to throw, it's Breeze. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. It's the former number four overall pick, Cleland Full, that got in there to bring him down. If you want a lesson on how to defeat an offensive tackle, that was pretty textbook. Is that a clip and save? Is yes. that that's what's going to go around the league and people are going to watch that and say, my goodness, that's how you do it? And I feel awful for the offensive tackle because we always talk about the athleticism of that guy who just beat him. Well, you have to be athletic to try and block that guy. Just in this case, the defense won. Third and long now after the sack of Breeze and the Saints up against it here. From the gun, it's Breeze. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. 
And he's going to be stopped well short of what he needed as the tackle is made at the 18-yard line. A gain of nine, not enough, and it's fourth down. Brandon, it certainly looked like they had that play defended well, but it still almost worked. Got it to the running back. He wound up getting really good yardage out of it. But it was third and long, and they were able to rally and stop him before he could get to the marker. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. And Lutz puts this one through. And that'll push the lead up to 13 to nothing. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or, in this case, a field goal. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bring it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. And the results for them have not been strong to this point. Two drives have ended in a turnover and then a punt. So would it be too snarky for me to say that they've shown improvement? Because you had two, two drives with turnovers. <laughs> now they punted it away, so at least they didn't turn it over. So that's good, right? You're going to get some angry users <laughs> reaching out to you on social media. Well, I don't mean to be. I was actually <laughs> looking for the positive. Silver lining, you know. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 27. Carr gives to Rashard. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. That's a gain of 13 as they try to whittle away at this 13-point deficit. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. They go play action here on first down. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Big D today, baby. Big D today, y'all. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon, and guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get upfield and get after the quarterback. It's been such an impressive first half to get that lead. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Operating from the gun, Carr. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. Darren Waller, the intended receiver, third down here. And he's only hit on two of his first six passes. Time for a quick quarterback regroup here with a big third down coming up. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, Carr. He'll find his running back. It's Jalen Richard, And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down. Here's A.J. Cole now as he'll punt it away for the second time. <laughs> we call that a punt. 
punt of 38 yards officially. And out will come the offense as they take over. The offense and Alvin Kamara heading back onto the field. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 21. Out of the gun, he'll throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one. Closed quickly and helped force the incompletion. From the 21, it's second and 10. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. Off the play fake to Kamara, it's Breeze. Airing it out deep for Smith. And incomplete, a disappointing drop there defensively by the rookie. And now fourth down. Thus far, they have been able to move the line of scrimmage very well in the running game. Almost felt like they said in the huddle, can you guys pass protect? Let's take a big shot downfield. Didn't get it on that one, but they may come back to it again. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. It'll be a net of 40 yards there following a 43-yard punt, three-yard return, and the Raiders will take over now first and 10. Time again to see Josh Jacobs and this Vegas offense operate. And for him, it's been pretty limited involvement down on the scoreboard. Maybe time to turn to this guy. And you know me well. Winning games to me means starting with the running game and continuing to press the running game. Maybe you go away from him a little bit now, but the bottom line is he hasn't touched it enough to make a difference. Well, they haven't established that running game yet. The question is, will they? Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at the 34. He'll give it to Jacobs to start the drive. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Up to make the stop, the Pro Bowl safety, Malcolm Jenkins. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. Operating from the gun. Carr, that's into the hands of Edwards. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a first down on a gain of 10. First down, Carr. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 11 more on that one and another first down. Carr now on first down. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. Sheldon Rankins abruptly ends that play with a sack. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Second and 21, a lot of ground to cover. Carr now to throw. 
He's going to walk this one deep left sideline. And boy, that one drops incomplete. But if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. Love the idea, love the concept, but you got to leave a little room on the sideline so he can fade into it when he makes the catch. That was thrown too close to it for the receiver to make a play. The Raiders on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and forever. Over the middle complete, it's Edwards. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on to punt for Vegas. Now he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. Alvin Kamara and the Saints set to start their next drive. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Here's Murray now as they run it to start the drive. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. On play action, now Breeze. And he's got this one complete to Callaway. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 15 yards on the play, first down. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. There's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. You have a guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Shotgun now for Breeze. Looking sideline, incomplete. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. And that is incomplete. Let's phrase this delicately, okay? Might have had a better option instead of throwing the football into double coverage. He was blanketed. I was surprised that he went his direction. Yeah, should have thought maybe about the check down, take the completion, keep moving. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Breeze to throw again. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. And a tackle going to be made at the 41 as they stop him a few yards short of the first. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for New Orleans. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. 
41-yard punt there with no return. And the Raider drive will start from deep in their own territory with a first and 10. And now Derek Carr, he is the focus of our player spotlight. And I guess the question, Charles, is what's the formula for keeping him better protected? Because as we see, the protection, it's struggle. And normally what you get is renewed determination. When, <laughs> when the big guy gets hit, that usually sparks people. Hey, we can't let this happen anymore. They take it personally. He's not supposed to be on the ground, but that hasn't been the case so far in this game. So maybe they've got to figure out how do they get rid of the ball faster to help out the offensive line so he doesn't get hit as much. And we'll see if they can keep him off the ground now going forward. Carr now on first down. They'll find his tight end. That's Waller. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. First down now, but that clock rolling. On first and 10, here's Carr. And Waller taking it in over the middle. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Right back to him for 10 more and a first. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the gun, it's caught. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. On any pass that's in the middle of the field, anyone who's going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. Here's second and ten. to throw again. Carr. They'll find his running back here, Richard. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Throwing on first down is Carr. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Darren Waller, the intended receiver, but it's going to be second down. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Throwing again. Carr. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 33. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. I think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the left hash, it's an even 50-yard attempt. It's no good, and this score will stay right where it is.
Now listen, now no kick from 50 plus is a gimme, but here you're indoors in a dome. You'd think ideal conditions. Yeah, and it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Over the years, my theory is very simple. The athletic ability of kickers continues to get better and better. Check their background. They were all county, all state, and other positions, not just soccer players. These guys expect themselves to be great as well. A bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward for about six yards. So we've reached the intermission in what right now is a 13-point game. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well as we'll turn it back over to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. are going to have it first and they trail here as we get back to it in this third quarter of action takes this about five yards deep and no return forthcoming for Richard as this will come out to the 25 out comes the Raiders offense they'll go on offense first to start quarter number three they come out here with a zero on the scoreboard what was said in that locker room that's what I want to know I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. Now he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27th. Second and eight coming up. Once again, it's Jacobs. And not a whole lot doing there. So he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. Not the start to the drive they were looking for. That run doesn't do much at all. No, not at all, and it leaves them with third and long. And you know, this is the time of game where these drives really, really start to matter. They've got to make some moves. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Working from the gun, it's Carr. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Cameron Jordan, his second sack of the night. That's his second sack of the game, and the best defensive ends, they do their homework as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them, what moves they need to do to set them up. This guy's been pretty good at it all game long. Here's A.J. Cole now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some <laughs> gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. 
So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. And he'll start with a give to Kamara. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And here's a throw that's taken in by the tight end, Cook. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. A give. This is Kamara. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Ten more there and another first down. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. First and 10, here's Breeze. That's to his running back, it's Alvin Kamara. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Good route, good pickup for first down yardage, and that is a tough one to cover, the angle route, because a running back getting out of the backfield, if you're trying to cover that, especially if you're in the linebacker spot and you're seeing this play develop, he heads out towards the flat first, and that often gets you to overcommit running in that direction. Then he cuts back up inside you into the middle of the field. That's what we just saw there for a nice pickup. Complete pass here now is second and ten. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Good coverage there by Trayvon Mullen. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Again, it's Breeze. This will be caught just inside the ten. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a footer so short. That was a heck of an effort to stop him just short of the marker, but now they're going to need another big play on fourth down on defense, I believe, because offensively, they went from third and long to now it's a go situation here on fourth and inches. Line of scrimmage, the two. They can still get a first down if they just get a yard out of this on fourth and very short. They run, it's Kamara, and he is in for the score. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara, his second touchdown of the night, and the Saints now add six to their lead. And that's a drive that makes everyone happy on that bench because they accomplish exactly what they set out to do. Take care of the football, eat up a little clock, end up in the end zone. Now they've got a cushion for the rest of the game, so they didn't just help themselves offensively, they helped their defense out as well.
Now Sean Payton going to say, let's go for two on this one. And they'll turn to Kamara. They'll try and run it here. And he will dive into the end zone, and the two-point conversion is successful. Only had a couple of yards to gain there on the two-point conversion, and they were able to do it. And how many teams shy away from running the football in the two-point conversion? They treat two yards as if it were 20. If you're a good team running the ball, go to your strength. Go ahead and push it into the end zone. Yeah, they did. It worked. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Jalen Richard now on the return. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. It's been a struggle this entire game trying to move the ball on the ground, but every now and then you find a little chink in the armor, and that type of run right there lets them know that they can't stop every single run for almost no gain. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. And Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. Here's Jacobs on first and 10, and he'll get this up to about the 40. Demario Davis there on the stop. at the 40 here for second and five. Now a handoff to Richard. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. I think what we just saw there, partner, was linebacking speed that can trump O-line power. We see that at times because he filled the gap before the offensive lineman could get to the next level and take him on. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Shotgun now for Carr. And he can't come up with a pick. Nearly his second of the game. Instead, fourth down. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. Here's A.J. Cole now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Harris returning. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The offense and Alvin Kamara heading back onto the field. He is hoping to find the end zone for a third time, and we sit now in the third quarter. And nothing would excite him more? But I think even more so is offensive line. 
anytime you've got a guy scoring that many times, that means you've done a really nice job in front of him. You're always giving props to the big fellas up front. It's always a good idea. <laughs> Those are some massive men. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. There's Breeze. And the Raiders have got him. Maurice Hurst. What a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. Well, we knew this guy wasn't especially fleet of foot, but he tried to conjure up some escapability, but there was no way he was getting away on that one. the sack of Breeze and the Saints up against it here. From the gun, it's Breeze. That's complete to his running back, Kamara. And he'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of the first. They get 12 yards back, but it still leads to a fourth and long. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he's on to punt for New Orleans. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. It'll be a net of 39. 41-yard punt, two on the return. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 right at the 30. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Second down and three. From the gun, Carr. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 11 yards there, first down. play fake to Jacobs and this will be incomplete physical play on the football there and it's second down I'm getting the sense that this offense is getting frustrated here we are into the third quarter and they've had plenty of opportunities to get in sync thus far that hasn't happened they're looking for answers both on the sidelines and in the huddle looking at each other third quarter from Southern Nevada here's a second and ten He was trying to get it that time to Brian Edwards. But now it's third down. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Again, they'll throw with Carr. 
That's complete to Richard, the running back. And he'll only get this to the 47. He needed a few more yards to pick up the first. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. Here's A.J. Cole now, as he'll come on to kick for a sixth time tonight. And this one sails out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25. It will. 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet, at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. So, Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They go over the middle, and it's complete to start the drive. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Breeze leaves this one with Kamara. Two yards, good enough for a first. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Running with Kamara. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. First down. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 45-yard line. Now a give. This is Murray. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Well, you know me, partner, I never tell them to back off of being aggressive, but sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose, and just as you said, cost some yardage. Yeah, you got to go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. stay on the ground. This time it's Kamara. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. It's a pickup of 12. Second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. Starting to look like this drive it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps For these situations, these scenarios to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. Ready. 
Staying on the ground on first with Kamara. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Now a second down and six. The busy night continues for Kamara. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Now they'll have it first and goal following that gain of 17. The running game continues to be a big part of their success here early in the fourth quarter. And with those types of runs, that tells you they feel very confident in their running game. They feel very strong at this stage of the contest. And they want to keep doing exactly what we saw there, running the ball down their throat. They'll run it with Kamara, and he takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. Taking it in from a yard out, and the Saints add on to their lead. So he's in for his third score of the game, and a defense probably saying, man, we, we don't want to see this guy for a long time. It's bad enough when anyone scores a touchdown against you, but for one person to get three, it almost sets him apart from the rest of the game, and no one likes to see any of those players on a pedestal, not from the defensive point of view. Lutz to try to add the PAT. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28-0 now. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And the capper came from Alvin Kamara on the touchdown run. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Taken about seven yards deep. And no return forthcoming for Richard as this will come out to the 25. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. On the draw, Richard. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Second down and five. Operating from the gun, Carr. Throw right side, going to be caught by Waller. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Seven yards there and a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Carr gives to Richard. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Working with second and five now. From the gun, Carr. And he's taken down here by the Saints. 
Sheldon Rankins able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Carr and the Raiders following the sack, looking up at a third and long. Operating from the gun, Carr. That's into the hands of Edwards. And a nice stiff arm that opens room to run. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. But defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. From the gun, Carr. That's complete to his tight end runner. And down inside the 15 he goes. And between the last two plays, they've moved it over half the length of the football field. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Into the red zone, it's called. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Henry Ruggs, the rookie, his intended target. And that'll bring up second down. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Carr again here on second and ten. And it's caught. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Derek Carr touchdown pass to Henry Ruggs and the Raiders get a score closer so they will get on the scoreboard here give them credit for that too little too late but no zero are oh, you you're going slow clap on me <laughs> not very nice is it no but they haven't been very nice on offense it's been a struggle Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. He's got it to bring it back to 28-7 now. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it ends with a Las Vegas touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Alvin Kamara and the Saints set to start their next drive. He's toppled the century mark already receiving the football, closing in on that on the ground, too. They've really had trouble handling him. I think from what we've seen in this game, his success through the air has started to open things up for him on the ground because now he's loosened up the defense, right? They've got to play just about every snap as if another receiver can get downfield on them, and he's been that receiver. Now they bring him back to the backfield. I think his yardage running the ball will increase as this one goes on. Well, they might need to devote some extra attention to him, something just to stop the momentum he has. 
Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They keep it on the ground, but this time it's Murray. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. The Saints on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities. Three for nine. This is third and four. taken down but able to slip across the 35 10 yards good for his saints first down well a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this you have to think about your tight end and he comes through for him picking up the first down So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now a handoff. Here's Kamara. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, partner, Marvin, our number one stats guy, just handed me a little card that says he has 97 yards on the ground today. You think he's going to get the ball again? Uh, I think so. Three away from that century mark, got to have it. Yeah, and I think what they're going to call is one of his favorite runs, whatever he feels comfortable with, and what the offensive line has executed well today to try and get him over 100 yards. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Third and inches, and they've got some extra beef up front. Three tight ends. Here's Kamara trying to run for him. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. A pickup of five yards. First down, New Orleans. Brandon, this can be so demoralizing for a defense. They've had two opportunities to get off the field. They haven't gotten it done. So now your coordinator, he's going to call every blitz that he has, any type of exotic, something that they haven't seen before. And he's also telling the defensive lineman, don't worry about holding people up. Just get in gaps and try and make a big play. And not only not getting off the field on two opportunities, clock continuing to run. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 47. From the gun, it's a run for Kamara. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Second down and six now from the 42. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. The Saints on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This time they face a third and two. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. They'll run here. It's Murray. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. A gain of five, first down New Orleans. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance, but in short yardage, trying to pick up first downs, that big guy, always oh, a nice luxury to have, isn't he? Ready. 
Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. This is Murray. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front. Good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. They're not in any rush offensively. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. And the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down. So this one, a victory here for New Orleans. And it was their defense that really paved the way to this victory as they allowed the one touchdown, and that was all she wrote. Almost want to do the defense chant right now, right? Defense with a couple of claps in there, but no one wants to hear that from me. Let's just talk about how they got it done, though. When you take care of every aspect of the game, shut down the run, control the airways, right? Make sure the quarterback is harassed. This type of performance you get. They can't fashion together any offense, no consistency, and they just took control. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Las Vegas.